All right, now we're gonna do the front brake lever. These cheap Chinese ones look okay, but they're cheap, they're junk. I do not like it. I am going to remove it, okay? Make sure you ratchet. Use a 10 millimeter, it's a 10 millimeter nut on the bottom. Uh, I want it on loosen. So you gotta be able to get your ratchet up in there. Get in the bottom nut. And that's that. As you can see, I've got a bit on the top. Remove the nut first. Same situation. There's a pin that slides in and that stays there regardless. And that unscrews itself on the bottom of the Brembo Master. But you gotta take this nut off first. Shame too hard. Super easy. It's just a little awkward because it's tight space. That's it. So, nuts off. Okay, get that out of the way. And remove the top pin. And that is an H4. Use an H5 for the grips. I mean, for the actual mount. That's an H4 for this part right here. Okay. Here comes that whole pin assembly. Pressure off by holding it. Okay. And there it is. If you need to see it, that's it right there. Barrel and screw on the bottom. Okay. Here comes the interesting part. That comes off. And this literally just pops right off. Boop. Slides right out, put that back into the factory unit, throw the Chinese shit away, and I'll be right back with the factory. Okay, hold on. Ah. I learned a lesson in trying to pull this out. The turnbuckle, the little lock in place tab, won't fit into the factory unit. Flex it out as much as you want. Try to slide it in there, but it don't work. The way I found is you flex it just a little bit, stick a screwdriver in here, Little bit of pressure and she'll drop right back in. No worries. Cool. Just like that. That worked pretty good? That was slick. Same way to get it out. Okay, pause it and we'll put it in. Go. All right, now make sure you keep everything nice and lubed. Really important. Okay, and literally this is all you do. Slide it back into place. Wow, that was so hard. Okay, hold on a second. Make sure your pin's nice and greasy still. Factory greasy, still good, no worries. Drops right in. Thread it a few times with your fingers, get it started. There you be. Take your H4, hold your lever with some security just to keep it in place. Thread it down into the bottom of the master. That's there, just give it a good crank crank. Little snug, don't need much. Make sure your rubbers are all seated up in your Brembo real nice. Looks great. Everything's wonderful. Take your nut. Well, here. I'll give you a little more room that way. You can't see underneath. You gotta kind of feel. Make sure your nut's facing the right way too. Yeah, you just kind of screw it on. So, nut. Oh, yeah. Put it the right way. I just said that, and I did it upside down. It is a it is a self locking nut. So, and thread. And again, you don't need much torque on this either. Once you get it tight, it's just holding the pin in place, so nothing moves, nothing changes. And it's that easy to put all your factory stuff back on. It's the same uh, method for installing aftermarkets. It really doesn't take long at all. I've seen a lot of videos where people are pulling off clutch levers, this and that, I mean, cables and everything else. It's silly, but. This should not be spinning. And that's that. Factory's back. Easy peasy. Done? That is, that's, that's literally it. Um, I'm by no means an expert. I'm just a guy that's fooled around enough with crap to figure things out. So, if you have any questions, hit me up.